Hey Little Beans, we are trying to reach 300,000 subscribers. To help us get there, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my daily Royal High videos. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell and of course you stack a B when buying Robux or Premium. As you guys may already know, a brand new update is coming to Royal High next week. So we've got lots of stuff to unpack and prepare ourselves for to make sure that we are ready for this new update. That's right, you guys. You may remember that last year, Barbie reduced the time that we had to wait for the Valentine's items in Royal High. And you guys will no doubt already be aware that the Valentine's items in Royal High are some of the most popular shop items in the game, usually being traded for really high levels of money after Valentine's is over and done with. So... There is lots and lots for us to prepare for today. First things first, we are going to go ahead over to the shop, go to accessories, hit seasonal, and press on Valentine's. And you will see the Valentine's items all say that they go back on sale on January 10th, and then stay on sale until February 28th. Now, I'm sure you guys will be well aware that that is not very far away. It's next week that they will be going back on sale, so you guys will be able to obtain these items again very, very soon. Now, I am fairly sure I have almost every single Valentine's accessory. I don't have the original giant teddy bear and I don't have the original teddy zilla. Although I did used to have original teddy zilla, I traded it for one of the halos that I have now so I could get to having every single halo in the game. Hashtag no regret. Now you guys, I do love all the Valentine's items, particularly the parasols. We all know the parasols are incredibly popular. Everybody always gets very, very excited about the parasols, particularly this beautiful <laughs> Gorgeous paper lantern style one as well. Everybody always loves, loves, loves the parasols. And they usually trade for really good values. And everybody is usually trying to get one around the time that they release. Obviously, throughout 2020, when they first came out, everybody was very excited. So normally when they come back on sale, people get really hyped as well. Now, if you're looking to be able to obtain any of those older items, you're going to want to start doing your search now. Tradery and things like that will certainly start to heat up and the prices will start to increase quite rapidly. So you guys are probably going to want to consider trying to get anything that you want as soon as possible. Because once it gets super expensive, trust me, it is not going to be easy to obtain. You guys know that some of the stuff during certain seasons get really, really pricey. And I have a feeling it's going to be no different for some of these items. Particularly things like Teddy Zilla and the parasols. If you head over to Tradery and go to the Royal High section and go ahead and search for the parasol, you're going to see obviously the Got Parasol, which is incredibly expensive. But if you look at these original parasols and the Elegant Parasols, they still go for quite a good amount of money, you guys. The original parasol obviously being the most expensive one. People are always trying to get healers for these and things like that. Usually just really, really expensive levels of money for most of these parasols. But you guys, the reality is it's expensive because it's fancy. Now, you know what, you guys? I kind of really want one. I actually really want one of these parasols. It's been a long time since I've been able to actually consider getting one. Let's log into my account. You know what, guys? I'm going to go through the parasol section and I, for the original parasol, the 2019 parasol. And I might actually make an offer, you guys, on one of them. I might try and see if I can actually get one. This one seems like a reasonable actual offer. Oh, wait, okay. So these are the offers people have made. I see. So it tells you the offers that people have made first. Right, right, right. I don't like it when it says, like, to make an offer. I prefer it when people just straight up say what they want. I think that it's really hard when people make an offer or, like, ask you to make an offer because then you don't know what they actually want and it's going to be really hard. So I prefer to, like, go with people who have just straight up asked for it, I guess. But I guess we'll have to wait and see if I can manage to find one. But I am actually going to try and get one, you guys. I'm going to try and get myself one of these beautiful original parasols. See if I can manage to trade for one later. Now, one of the things you guys are going to know that is most expensive to trade for is, of course, the Teddy Zilla. Teddy Zilla is always expensive, you guys. The Giant Teddy Bear original is going for 134000 whereas Teddy Zilla is going for 374000 These three items for Valentine's, these original items, I kind of really want them, you guys. So I might actually try and get some of them. A lot of them, obviously, like I said, need offers. They don't actually, like, accept them for specific things. But this Teddy Zilla, for example, 400k. I'll make an offer for 400k. Let's do it. 400 
400,000 diamonds. I would willingly pay 400,000 diamonds, you guys, for Teddy Zilla original because I really would like it. And then the original turning teddy bear, let's see if anybody's making an offer for these. I prefer when people just price them. I hate having to, like, make offers. I just find it really annoying, you guys. Let me see what everybody's got going on in here. See if anybody is offering for specific prices. 190k are their, their offers. It's really hard, you guys, to find people that are actually just straight up selling it and, like, not just taking offers. Let's see. Is this person taking it or are they taking offers? Okay, this is 130k that this person is accepting. So if you click buy it now, what happens? So go ahead and I made an offer. All right, I placed an offer, you guys. But apparently they've got multiple offers on that same one and haven't accepted yet. So I'm not going to hold my breath. Let's keep going. Let's, oh my goodness, 400k for an original giant teddy bear. That seems like an overpayment right there. Make an offer. Yeah, I'll make an offer for 150,000. That's what they want for it. One, two, three. There we go. Submit offer. Let's see if anybody accepts any of my offers, you guys, for the original giant teddy bear as well. And we're going to try and get the parasol too. And I really think you guys should be considering whether or not you can try and obtain any of these items before it's too late. I will willingly give 500k for the new parasol, or the original parasol as well. Now, obviously, with the new update coming out on the 10th, it means that some of the things will go back on sale. So the 2020 new parasol will go back on sale. And the new versions of Teddy Zilla and the giant teddy bear will go on sale too. But the OG versions, obviously, you have to trade for. So they're all going to become a little bit more pricey, you guys. Obviously, these things don't tend to stay cheap. So I will be considering that right now. Also, obviously, that will be the countdown to the Valentine's update, which we're hoping we're going to get some sort of Valentine's update this year, even if we don't get the new school by then. So if we do even get just a small Valentine's update, it's going to be worth you guys trying to make sure you do some grinding, get yourself enough of the things that you need, such as diamonds and level ups and whatever else you might want so that you can thoroughly enjoy this new update when it releases. I'm really, really looking forward to getting all of these things. Oh, you guys, I might have got a bite. I might be about to get the original Teddy Zilla back. I don't know why I didn't consider getting this earlier, but this seems like the best time to get it, considering that we know all of these are going to shoot up in price as soon as this update comes out on the 10th. So you definitely want to try and get these as fast as possible if they're things that you actually want. All right, you guys, so this person here, Bits Milky, has agreed to do the trade. So let's go ahead and join them and get the OG Teddy Zilla. Oh, look. I see them. I literally joined and immediately found them, you guys, before even fully going in. Look at that. Look at that. We literally found them immediately. Hi. Okay, so they said 400k, I think. Let me just double check. 400k, right? Just to double check the trade because I was honestly not fully reading it when I when I was buying it. So we've got four, zero, zero, one, two, three. It's got original Teddy Zilly, you guys. TY, and then we'll hit click accept. All right, so I got my original Teddy Zilla back, you guys, for 400k. I think that's pretty good, personally. I think that's a pretty good trade, but you guys, these are gonna get more expensive. As soon as next week comes around and this new update comes out and then all the Valentine's items come back out again, everyone's gonna be trying to trade for these OG Teddy Zillas because obviously you can only get them through trading. I guarantee you guys, I guarantee these are gonna be upwards towards a million diamonds again because last time I sold mine, I got like a really expensive halo for it. I can't remember which one what it was but it was definitely worth at least a million diamonds so these do increase in worth a lot so let's go ahead and say thank you to the person thank you so much and i will give out my badge to everybody oh my gosh now everybody else is noticing that i'm here because i gave up my badge lol so there we go you guys now inside of my inventory we have got ourselves the og teddy zilla so let's go ahead and try and load my inventory you guys know what Royal High's inventory loading system is like, though, so it might not show up straight away. Just bear with me a second. There we go. OG Teddy Zilla is back in my inventory, you guys. Yay! And he looks so majestic. I love it. So now we'll be able to actually utilize that inside of our videos again. And it feels nice to be completing my inventory. We've just got a few more that we need to grab. Let's just say thank you so much. And now, let's go back to Tradery. For the sake of trying to help with this, I'm going to add in a wish list. So let's go ahead and go to wish list. And I'm going to mark that as bought. I've already got that now. But let's add the original parasol, you guys. So we're going to add original 2019 parasol in here. Actually, I think I'm going to have to just search for parasol. No? Okay, this is... How do you do it again? Uh... I, I, I am such a noob. I don't remember how to look for an item, guys. I don't remember how to search items and users. Yeah, parasol. Hey, what gives? What was the other thing that I said I wanted as well? We got the original parasol uh, and giant teddy bear. Giant teddy bear. Why is it not letting me search for items? Am I doing it wrong? 
Am I doing it wrong? How do you? I don't remember how to do it, guys. Let's see. Create list. Create wish list. No, that's how you create like a whole new one. Okay. I'm gonna need to try and remember. Add listing like that. Items you're selling. Oh, looking for the. I am stupid, guys. Okay, parasol. And then we will click the original elegant parasol. And um, we'll put add listing, so that the people can make an offer. And then create, we'll go create listing, looking for an original giant teddy bear. So I want to try and get all of the original items, you guys. So we'll click looking for add listing. There we go. People can start making us offers and hopefully we'll get something good. Now with all that said, you guys, obviously the new update coming out is going to shift things around in trading and pricing and stuff. The December stuff is going to drop in price. Valentine's stuff is going to increase. So I definitely suggest that you guys get on this with the trading. Don't waste any time. Thank you so much for watching as always you guys if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and of course don't forget to click that bell and you stack up be when buying robux or premium if you want to have the opportunity by the way to trade with me sometime make sure you check out my tradery sometimes i list items i'm looking for and it will be a good opportunity because then i get to meet you in game we get to do some trades and you guys can get some diamonds all things that you're looking for and it'll be awesome i love you guys lots of little beans have a great day goodbye <laughs>